In this episode of 10 Best Ones, we are going to check out the top 5 best PDF editors in 2018. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. If you want to see the price and find out more information about these PDF editors, you can check out the links down in the description and the comment section below. Ok, so, let's get started with the video. At number 5, we have the SATA PDF Editor. The SATA PDF Editor is currently among the most used free online editors on the market and there are numerous new users that use it for their purposes. What's so special about this PDF editor is that it will let you edit pre-existing texts in the PDF without adding a watermark, something that does not often comes with free PDF editors. To be more precise, dozens of PDF editors will let you use their options but at the end, they will apply watermarks. Moreover, I'd like you to know that the SATA PDF editor has many useful tools of which you can take an advantage or to be precise, you can insert images and shapes into the PDF, you can white out some parts of the plage or insert blank pages into the PDF. This editor also has a signature tool, supports adding hyperlinks and has an ability to let you load PDFs from other websites so you can do plenty of things within a really short period of time. For your information, this editor is compatible with macOS, Windows and Linux which by default means that it can accommodate millions of users on the internet since these three operating systems are the most commonly used. For your information, take in mind that there are differences regarding the desktop and the online versions so I will briefly explain both of them. For instance, the desktop version has a web integration tool which lets the PDF publishers to set a link for their users, so that later, with a simple click they could automatically open the file through this PDF editor. In addition, the desktop version supports more font types but unfortunately, it won't let you add PDFs by URL or from other online storage services. I would also like to add that both paid and free PDF editors have some cons. For example, the SATA PDF editor is limited to PDFs with less than 200 pages, can't edit PDFs larger than 50 megabytes and it will let you use it for only 3 PDFs per hour. Finally, the interface is really intuitive so you won't have any troubles while navigating which is yet another reason that makes it suitable for your usage. Moving on, at number 4, we have the PDF Escape. The PDF Escape is available in different versions starting from the desktop version that offers one free and two paid modes, while the second version is its online version which is limited but it is free. Let's begin with its desktop version which has a Microsoft Office inspired interface. Well, users are unlikely going to have issues while navigating between menus due to the fact that the interface is kind of a Microsoft Word and PowerPoint hybrid. For your information, the desktop version is available in three editions such as the free, premium and the ultimate edition respectively. However, please note that the free edition lacks the features that are available in the other two versions, but this normal though. The free version will let you change PDF information tags, encrypt PDF contents with a password, add images to PDF files, add text, whiteout, shapes to PDF files, as well as sign PDF documents by using your scanned signature. The premium version will let you merge multiple PDFs at once, extract pages, insert numbers and watermarks, print files to PDF, convert PDFs to text or in image formats e.g., .jpg, .png, edit existing text, messages and edit PDFs on your desktop. Finally, the Ultimate version has all of the Premium version's features plus 256-bit encryption and password protection, electronic signatures, certificate signing, redact of confidential content from PDFs and an option to let you design advanced PDF forms. When it comes to the online version, you will still have useful options available but as I've stated before your access is going to be limited. This version will let you edit, create and read PDFs as well as fill forms and annotations, but take in mind that there's a limit on the PDF sizes. To be more precise, you can work with PDFs as large as 10 megabytes or 100 pages, and you won't be able to edit text in the existing PDF files. I would also like to mention that the online versions will let you share documents online and protect your PDF files with a password which is pretty good considering the fact that it is free. Next up, at number 3, we have the small PDF. 
the small PDF would be a top option for you if you're looking for a PDF editor that doesn't require spending a huge amount of money in order to achieve everything you want within seconds. This editor is available in two versions, the desktop which is available for Windows and Mac OS X, and the online version which is extremely easy to use, since all you have to do is drag your preferred document and drop it in the special field. The online version will also let you choose documents from Google Drive or Dropbox aside of the regular choose file way, in which you are required to find a particular document, well, from now on you won't spend even a second on searching. So what are the functionalities? They are indeed many, you can use the preview mode before you add images, shapes, text or draw on the PDF, and when it comes to the security, both websites and file transfers use the SSL encryption so you will be safe from an unauthorized access. Moreover, you can edit your original content by converting your PDF into an entirely editable Word document by taking an advantage of the PDF to Word tool. But don't worry, you can also convert Excel, PPT, JPG to PDF, or vice versa and that's maybe one of the reasons why is this PDF editor heavily praised by the users. Moving on, you can take an advantage of the split PDF and merge PDF, the process is butter smooth for both of them since everything you have to do is just click on the dedicated button below prior downloading your PDF. I'm sure that many times when you've found yourself in a situation where you've had to merge PDFs or maybe add a page to a PDF you weren't able to do to this kind of stuff because only the expensive software could do that for you. Well, this is not the case with PDF small. Another great benefit that you will have if you use this PDF editor is that it won't drain any capacity from your computer. Yes, you've read this good. PDF small servers are processing in the cloud, so they will handle your PDF creation once you have combined your files. Moving on, at number 2, we have the PDF Exchange Editor. The PDF Exchange Editor is basically an upgraded version of the PDF Change Viewer with an entirely different design that is exceptionally easy to use, something that all of us are keen for. So what can you do and expect from it? First of all, I'd like to inform you that this PDF editor is oriented towards the Windows users as it is works only on Windows OS. Moving on, users love using this editor thanks to its ability to provide fast PDF render of documents and of course, the features that make it different from the other PDF editors on the internet. There are numerous options to bookmark PDF documents and options to annotate forms, it also has a grid tool that will let you draw precisely as well as an option to hide the comments so you will always have a clear and undistracted picture of what you will be doing in a particular moment. In addition, the exchange has an ability to export your PDF pages in different formats and one of the most notable are the image formats which are pretty rare with free PDF editors. I would also like to inform you that you can encrypt your PDF documents with passwords, so you shouldn't worry of a potential, unauthorized access which is yet another reason why it is preferred by the internet users. Another great thing about the exchange is that aside from being a PDF editor, you can use it as an ordinary PDF viewer as well thanks to its intuitive interface. Or even better said, since you will be given an opportunity to use the default zoom mode which will fit the width of the document within the window, it means that you wouldn't have to constantly scroll, drag left or right in order to see the content. But what does really make this PDF editor different from the others is its ability to search for the text that is contained in the scanned files by using the OCR process. For your information, the OCR is a process in which the PDF editor will convert your scanned, imaged PDF documents in a text-searchable document, an ability that can't be found in most of the available free PDF editors. And finally, at number 1, we have the PDF element. The PDF element is an easy-to-use, enterprise-grade PDF editor that would be an extremely good option especially if you want to switch from Adobe Acrobat. We strongly recommend you this PDF editor due to two reasons. The first is that it packs dozens of useful functionalities, while the second is that it is available in two reasons such as the free and the paid version so before you use it, you can have a deeper insight of what you can expect from it. Now, let's explain its features. The PDF element uses OCR processing which will give you a greater control over your PDF files and make your work a lot easier. The OCR will let you edit your scanned files and make them searchable in more than 20 languages which means that this PDF editor can accommodate millions of users on the internet. 
In addition, if you haven't noticed typos, well, you shouldn't worry due to the fact that the spell check feature will be there for you and fix your mistakes automatically once a paragraph line is changed. The other features include an XFA-based PDF support which means that you can open, read and fill XFA-based PDF works, edit graphic-based objects, rotating, cropping, mirroring, etc., and use a 256-bit AES encryption so that no one, except you, could be authorized to open the PDF documents. Moreover, you can add stamps, annotations, highlight documents and customize your own forms with checkboxes, buttons, text fields plus an option to turn scanned documents into operable files which can later be exported in your preferred format. I would also like to note that PDF Element is compatible with Windows, Android, Mac, and iOS so it doesn't really matter which OS you're using, due to the fact that this editor is compatible with the most commonly used ones. Before we end, I'd like you to know that if you decide to purchase it, the price is pretty decent if we take into consideration the benefits you will have in return. That's why, do not hesitate even a second but instead, go and check it out in order to assure yourself what's the reason behind its success. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked this video. If this video was helpful to you, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future, and if you have any questions related to these PDF editors, you can leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can.